up everybody welcome back to a new adventure to a new video it's about almost four o'clock on a wednesday i just got off work and i decided to head up to the mountains for a quick little day hike slash trail running so, so i just have my little running pack there so i'm just keeping it super light today um i'm gonna try to do trail running on some of the flatter parts and then just hike the steeper parts i'm already yapping too much so i'm gonna end it there Let's just get to the mountains. I'll see you guys at the trailhead. Okay, I just made it to the trailhead. Living in Bellingham, this trailhead is less than an hour and a half away, which still blows my mind. It is about five o'clock. So I only have about three and a half hours until sunset. So I'm gonna try to crank this hike out. This is the Chain Lakes Loop. So it's one big loop, so you can go either way. Um, I'm deciding to park at the bottom, kind of like by the Bagley Lakes entrance. I'm gonna go up and over the saddle. And then from there, I'll probably just hike that part and then probably maybe try to trail run down to the lakes and through the lakes. If I get hot enough, I might jump in real quick and then we'll be coming out on the Artist Point side and then down, I think it's like the Wild Goose or something like that. Just a steep decline back to this parking lot. Like I said, I'm only bringing this like light little running vest. I have like a little bit of water there, but I'm also bringing my water filter with me because we are passing some lakes. So if I run out of water, I need some more. I can always filter some, but I wanted to keep it light today since I got to crank this out and Three and a half hours, it's a seven mile hike, round trip. But yeah, let's just get on the trail and let's start cranking this hike out. Okay, we're just about half mile in. The first part of this hike is pretty flat, but we're reaching the climbing part, which is this. So I have to go up and over the saddle, and the lakes are on the other side of that. So I'll probably just hike most of this hill part. I did run the first half mile, but now that we're climbing, we'll probably just hike it. Beautiful, beautiful views right away. Just this beautiful little canyon going up and over the hill. We'll be going up and over that. Let's just get right into it, man. Let's start climbing. We're already one mile in. Took about 17 minutes. It's not the quickest mile ever, but we have gained 420 feet already. This hike kind of just sends you up right away. You get all your gain done right away. And then you descend back into the lakes and then a little descend out of the lakes. It's a doozy. We are climbing. We still have all this left. Cranking it out. Keep it moving. One mile in, you already get a beautiful view of Shuxton too. Look at that. Just spectacular.
Okay, I just made it to the top of the saddle. And look at this view of Baker. That is incredible. You got beautiful shucks in right here. And then beautiful Baker right there. All within the same view. Spectacular. But all right, we made it to the top of the saddle. Took us about 38 minutes to get up here. Just under two miles. Total gain of 1,200 feet now. Which means since that last mile, we gained about 800 feet in the last mile. So the parking lot's way down there. That's where we came from. All the way up this. And now we go down here and the lakes are down there. Since the big climb's over with, I sweated quite a bit, so I got some electrolytes right here. This is about 500 milligrams of sodium and electrolytes. So I'm gonna chug this right now at the top of this hill, replenish my electrolytes. And that'll get me through the rest of this hike. And then this here is just good old agua. I can refill this at the lake, so we're good on that. I can drink as much as I want. Just refill it. I also brought some salt tablets too. Some electrolyte tablets. Take two of those right now as well. I'm feeling good, man. Feeling real good. So that's the lake I'm going to. It kind of drops down this valley wraps around to that part of the lake and then it goes up and behind that and then back to Artist Point parking lot over there. But I mean, look at these views, man. You cannot beat that. But, so this will be the part of the downhill and I'm probably gonna try to trail run this part. So, taking one last view of Shuxton. My favorite mountain in the whole state right there. Let's get down to this lake, man. Right as I stop for water at this view, all of a sudden I feel this sharp pain in my back of my heel, like my Achilles. There's a flipping bee, man. A bee just stung me in the back of my Achilles. Got me like right here. I don't know if you can see the sting or not, but it must have got like trapped in my sock somehow. It just stung the crap out of my flipping ankle. God. That is the worst timing. I still have like four miles left on this flipping hike. And a bee just stung my foot. Let's just keep going, man. Ignore the pain. Ignore the pain. I can't believe I just got stung by a freaking bee, man. I've been stung by a bee in so long. I'm just standing there hanging out. Next thing you know, I just feel this ridiculous pain on my Achilles. Look down, flipping B, just launching its stinger right into my flipping Achilles. It hurt real bad too. Just trying to ignore it. Let's get to this lake, man, and jump in. Not fun. Oh, the 180 there. Ooh. Did that corner go? Oh. 
a little fast. So I forget the name of this lake, but this is one of the chain lakes. There's like multiple down here, hence the name chain. But this is a beautiful lake. Right down there, we got a backpack down there before. Great spot to backpack. This is just one of the lakes. This is not the lake that I plan on getting into. That's probably still another half mile or so. We got some aggressive bugs out here, man. I'm gonna keep going before I get stung again. Good God. Okay, this is the lake that I plan on jumping into. It's a little more easier to get into this one. And it has this nice shoreline. Pretty sure this one is called Iceberg. Go for a quick little dip, man. It's gonna feel good. Feels so good. <sighs> okay, that felt so good. Hopping in that water, cooled me right down. I wanted to hang out longer, but the bugs right now are ridiculous. So just gotta keep it moving, cause they are trying to feast right now. Yeah, we're gonna keep continuing along the loop. We are just under three and a half miles in. I stopped my watch for that little dip, so we're still only about an hour total hiking time. But now this trail will go Hey, how you doing? Hi, Poop. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Get caught talking to myself. Uh, we had this trail just continues up into Artist Point now, so we'll just continue on the loop. Let's get done. We're now beginning the climb out of Chain Lakes. So this should be another like 600 feet gain coming out of the lakes and heading toward the Artist Point parking lot. So coming in up over the saddle, we have fantastic views of Shuxton. And now coming out of Chain Lakes, you get fantastic views of Baker. So this hike is just a beauty. Oh, it might be worth noting that I did use my filter to chug some water at the lake and then I also filled up my water bottle with it. I, didn't, I forgot to film all that, but we did replenish with water quite a bit, so 
and then also if somebody's watching this trying to get a feel for trail conditions this is Wednesday August 7th 2024 so the trails in great shape beginning of August okay so that is our little last climb out of here up and over that and it's about a mile straight back into the parking lot so my oh my look at Baker she's a beauty I just made the turn that cut off behind me it goes out to the ptarmigan ridge trail which is an epic trail as well but i just made the turn back toward the artist point parking lot so we just have to go all the way along this and then the parking lot's right there so it's about another mile to the artist point parking lot and then probably another mile from there down to my car so we are Four and a quarter mile in, hour and 20 minutes of total movement. I've been stopping my watch during like swimming and taking breaks and stuff. So the time is like just strictly moving time, not total time. This next mile just has gorgeous views of shucks and all the way back. It's just absolutely gorgeous, man. Just cannot beat it. This is my favorite place in Washington. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is my favorite place in Washington right here. I don't think anything beats this. There's just two magnificent peaks right here. Baker, Shucks, and can't beat them. Well, like I said, this last little section here, it's pretty mellow, pretty flat, not too rocky. So I'm gonna try and jog this out a little bit. Just to get a nice little trail run in. Beautiful backdrop. This is a great place. To do a nice leisure trail run. Not too technical. Fairly flat. And just unbeatable views, man. It's gorgeous. Bye, Baker. Magnificent. So I made it to the Artist Point parking lot. About 5.3 miles in total. Now we just cross the parking lot and then down the Wild Goose Trail section of the loop and then we're back to the car. So we're almost there. So way down there is where I started and we went all the way up this, up and over that saddle, through the lakes, 
Baker's right over there, parking lot's right there. Now we're coming down and we'll be finishing back down there. It is absolutely gorgeous out here right now. I love it up here. But we're getting close, five and a half miles. So probably about a mile, mile and a half left. I think this is about seven miles total, so. There's the lake and parking lot. If you guys watched my video from last week, I backpacked up and over that ridge way over there on Lake Ann, right in front of Shuxon. That's my last week's YouTube video, so if you haven't seen it or you wanted to check it out, it's my last video posted. <laughs> Here are the stairs. They don't look very steep on the GoPro, but I assure you, they are steep, man. They're like straight up. So you can go this way on the loop, but if you choose this way, you have to do pretty much all the gain just right here, just abruptly. So if you go the way I just did, the gain's a lot more spread out. It's a little more enjoyable in my opinion, but it's up to you guys. <laughs> Okay, we made it back to the car. So total stats for that hike was clocked in at about 6.26 miles, so not quite seven. Um, total moving time about an hour and 53 minutes. So that doesn't include like the lake and like stopping and stuff. So it's about 7.30 and I started about five. So total time about two and a half hours. Uh, moving time, hour 53. Calories burned about 1200. A total ascent about 1818 feet. But yeah, those are the stats for the Chain Lakes Loop hike up here at Mount Baker. It was a beauty of a hike, beauty of an evening. But now, since it's still only 7.30, I might go up the hill and uh, enjoy sunset for a bit, and then I'll make my way home. So that will conclude this episode. That will conclude this adventure. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you have watched the full video, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Because I want to know if you guys are even watching the whole thing. Probably not, because it might get boring, but... If you do watch the whole thing, let me know. I appreciate you so, so much. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.